Welcome back to Tatai Time. I'm Papa Loy. Papa Ben. Exploring the world of fatherhood with philosophy, science, and art. And today we got another Moonlight edition uh, for the long form uh, podcast of Tatai Time. Long. And yeah, so <laughs> if you guys want to check out the uh, the shorter. Uh, cleaner version where we focus more on fatherhood. You can check that out. Uh, that, that time podcast. There was nothing clear about that. <laughs> yeah, nothing at all. <laughs> <I'm> just kidding. <laughs> so yeah, the, in the previous episode or the the other format, we were talking about the transition and uh, part of the culture and co co residents residents. There you go. Sure. What usually happens? After you have a kid or during pregnancy, you think about names, right? Mm, yeah. Once mm. you find out that uh, that there's a baby on the way. Mm. Automatically. Most likely. You, most likely yeah. Automatically, you would be you know, <laughs> thinking is, about a name. What are you going to name them? People even buy baby books. Yeah. About names. There's whole books for sure. How to name your baby. <laughs> Somebody to tell you. How you should name There's a whole baby. book about it. <laughs> From A to Z. Sometimes one, two, three. One, two. Why can't you name your baby Number two? Number one. Number one. <laughs> you know what the best name is I've, I've ever heard? <laughs> It's from a film from uh, Dr. Evil. You remember Dr. Evil? Oh, yeah. It was a, technically, it wasn't his son, but a clone. It's just <laughs> mini me. <laughs> <laughs> Mini-me. That was one of the best names. Yeah. <laughs> Mini me. <laughs> you see, right? I mean, oh, I mean yeah. naming, you got to name your kid something. Got to. Yeah. And what you name them could could affect how other people treat them. Like if they have some weird name, they might get bullied. <laughs> if they live they live in some place that doesn't their name sounds very foreign. Yeah. Like if you have a Chinese name like in in, in, in America. Louisiana or something. <laughs> <laughs> Like, what? Mr. Chen? Mr. Chen? <laughs> did, did you ever, like, uh, were you ever embarrassed with your name? There uh, is. I mean, you have a normal name. Yeah, so, so. Uh, yeah pe- people, I guess, would uh, have some trouble, but it wasn't like anything out of the ordinary. <laughs> I grew up around a lot of uh, Hispanic uh, people, a lot of Mexicans, and yeah. they definitely had names that uh, people had trouble with. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just just like the guy who was named Puck. P H C. Like a Vietnamese or something. Yeah, something like that. You live in America, you'd be fucked. <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's your name, why. sir. Your name. Your yeah. name, sir. Fuck it. That's <laughs> why it's very important, people. The name your child <laughs> properly, right? At least you have to consider it. <laughs> Names are important. It's gonna carry over. Yeah. So you gotta think about it. people buy books, man. Pay money, good money, yeah. to buy books and how to name their babies. <laughs> <laughs> here in the here in the Philippines, and at least here in in Cagayan, the nicknames seem to be very common as well. Mm. On top of a, a, a normal, regular, yeah. legal name, you get like four names <laughs> here in the Philippines. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. Depends which group of friends. Yeah. <laughs> which group of friends, your family, <laughs> they're going to call you shit. <laughs> <laughs> I've had four names in my in my four, almost 40 years of existence yeah. in this, That's on a this lot planet. Of names. I got four, na- four names, at yeah. least officially. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not even a rapper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? So that's very common. Yeah. They, if if they name you a, a certain name, you get called otherwise. Yeah. Sometimes they you, just call you boy. Yeah, or yeah. Baby. You, you have the, the, the <laughs> some of the very parents. very common ones. <laughs> yeah. Some generic stuff. <laughs> <laughs> There's a joke there. I, I remember uh, uh, every Filipino family always has a boy and a baby. Uh, it just happens yeah. to be my parents. <laughs> 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 Oh my God! Like you got new name here in the yeah. Philippines, right? The moment you arrived here, uh, what did they call you, Ben Dong or something? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ben Soy. I called yeah. you Ben Dong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is that common in? in uh, nicknames, I guess, are, are common, yeah, but not not as common as not like here. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's a whole, it's on a whole different level here. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> names are are like uh level you know 10 or something <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if you're richer, you get called Dick or something yeah. in America. This is, I noticed that. I'm like, oh, Dick? Yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, names are important. Man. You can change your legal name, too, in the U.S. Oh, can so you do that easy. here? Can you do that here? I think so. Yeah, you can do that if here, right? You really, if you really try, why not? Yeah, if you I really mean, wanted to. Who's, who's stopping you from mm. changing your name? Yep. It would be difficult, I guess. I mean, it would be a hassle. I'm would guessing. Be, yeah. Just go through some paperwork mm. and whatever legal process. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, why not? Why not change your name? I guess. Why not? I mean, you didn't choose your name. Is it really somebody, that important? Somebody did. Your parents did. Uh-huh. Yeah. How, uh, yeah. Let's say if you don't feel like you don't saying feel, your name. You don't feel like a Bob. Or, yeah, a Bob. <laughs> yeah. Or a Papa Ben. You want to be Bob. You want to be Rafiki. <laughs> yeah. Something else. <laughs> why not? Change your yeah. name. Yeah, why not? Yeah. So well, I'm not going to try to because I love my name. I mean, I carry it with pride. Yeah. My parents named us after, at least for me, after our grandparents. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, it's very common here. Very common. I mean, not just here. I'm sure uh, for the rest of the world, some Probably. some cultures carry the father's name. Uh, uh, it's almost like mandatory or something. Mm. So it depends. But uh, yeah, we do name our children with our parents or something combinations uh what are the statistics that you know of about names oh i don't know any or um, something some facts that uh, we've uh we've known before about like uh legal names or? yeah legal names i don't know much about oh about, yeah about well, that it's interesting to think about uh the the legal aspect of your documentation what name you have to record mm-hmm. on paper because for sure, they don't want to have to do the paperwork with so many letters. And um, if you put your entire, both sides of the family, your your mother's maiden name, your father's maiden name on a, mm-hmm. on a document, that's a very long document. So they, there was probably some kind of documentation incentive or legal incentive to shorten the name. And of course, they were like, well, of course, it's going to be the male's name. Let's just put the male's name. Yeah. <laughs> You know, they just made some. It's random... your default last name, I guess. Yeah, but the your real your real name is going to be both sides mm-hmm. of your family. It's not going to be just be yeah. one. At least in our culture, I mean, in Africa, in some some part there, they just call each other. <laughs> so okay, uh, right? So sure. it doesn't really matter sometimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what language it's in? Uh, doesn't matter. I mean, we all came from Africa, so at some point we'd be calling each other some growl, and yeah. we were still maybe. Uh, primitive, I don't know, some clicks, and now it has many syllables, there's so many uh, complex meanings uh-huh. behind the names that we we carry. And uh, for example, uh, uh, in, in my case, I'm a combination between my, my uh, both my grand uh, grandparents, mm. my mother's and father's side. The males. Yeah, the males. And uh, why not the female? Yeah, it was very common. <laughs> why not the female? Sometimes it does. Uh, yeah, sure. My sister has my uh-huh. my uh, <coughs> grand our, our grandma's name <coughs> legally. Oh, okay, really? Name oh, so very uh, common. That's a long name. Mm. Or would you? I mean, would you prefer that to name your your children if you have more? I mean, with your parents or grandparents' name, why not? Yeah, why not? I mean, it's a good option, especially yeah. if they carried like if they have a a very good legacy. Mm, sure, they you're you're in hopes that they would embody some of that mm. um, some of that character. Some of the character. There's it, it's also a blessing and a curse carrying um, the name sometimes. Uh, why sometimes, is that? I, I, in my experience, at least, mm. because of both my grandparents. Were so successful in a way, not really, su- not just successful uh, financially, or even let's say in their status, with regards to their status. I mean, the the things that they went through. My my definition of success, like how mm. they they carried themselves as as uh, human beings. Okay. They were so so great. I must say, mm. I'm not I'm not preaching or let's say, uh, venerating them. It's just based on my observations and how I, I when I think about it deeply. Mm. Your definition of yeah, success, yeah, they, of success, they, they, they represented they, they that. just did so many great things that I'm my own accomplishments, I feel, are diminished. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
It's true. Yeah. So okay. it, in a way, it's kind of sure. like a curse that I'm burdened yeah. with carrying their name, <laughs> and I have accomplished close to nothing compared to them because compared I keep, yeah, I keep yeah. comparing my <laughs> my life to them, uh-huh. and they But, were so good, and I I take them as inspiration actually mm. that that. I can't complain. I mean, mm. the the things that they went through just to to get there, and mm. here and I were here existing because uh-huh. of them. I appreciate so much what they had to go through for us to be able to be here mm. and enjoying our existence. But maybe they would say the same the same thing, like um, you know, the, you, because of what they have done, we we get to experience things that they never have yeah. like uh, you know higher education higher education like, that, right? like pondering mm, about existence yeah, Jesus yeah. Christ they had to fight a war they, they, they don't have time to think about <laughs> such, <laughs> such things before right? yeah. imagine that, that. that probably would have been you know I'm sure a lot of them were like man it would be nice to go to school you yeah. know it's like I don't have that option it's just not an option yeah our, our Lolo he was he was a, he was just a voracious reader mm. I heard He, high school lung yeah. or something so I mean props to him man yeah wow Jesus Christ from going from nothing and and fighting a war and just you know living and having grandchildren that, that's yeah. an accomplishment in yeah. itself uh, if, if you take away all the titles and whatever other accomplishments yeah. that he had mm-hmm. he he lived his life and and fought for it mm-hmm. I think that's literally. a very no, yeah, yeah literally <laughs> his life And and props to my other grand grandfather as well who did the same thing. Wow. I mean, During he the same died. Time. He died early. I, he died young mm. because of the things that he fought for. So, yeah, that that compared to what I am currently experiencing right now, there there would be no way that I could I could live up to that that kind of expectation mm. carrying their name. But the legacy lives on in a way that I take inspiration. Mm. From carrying the name that I have, or bestowed with, or even it's a blessing, mm-hmm. and at the same time a curse. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe they're just so good at it. Yeah, <laughs> there's no way. But still, yeah, names are important, man. Some some people uh, choose to have names. I mean, how did you come up with your daughter's name? Uh, well, there was there was definitely some other preferences, you know, for or suggestions, I should say, um, when the wife and I were looking for names or you know trying to trying to figure out, mm-hmm. just like everybody else, what, what are you going to call the kid? So there's you know some exchange of some names that she thought of, and I and, you know we were going back and forth, and uh, the the name uh, that I enjoyed even prior to having a kid or even thinking like I was going to have a kid like when I was yeah. still living in Hawaii as a single guy I thought I was going to like just live there and do farming and you know not have kids <laughs> <laughs> I heard I heard the name over there and I was like wow that's a that's a pretty name like I never thought like oh that would, that would be a pretty name if I ever had a kid mm-hmm. I just thought to myself oh that's a that's a nice name sounds uh you know the meaning and all that kind of stuff so yeah. I just kept that with me, and then and then actually having kids, I was like, oh, it's the meaning is fitting, uh, for, uh, for the 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 idea mm. because my daughter's name means awakening, mm. and for me, nice. it was an awakening because fatherhood was something that you know, like we talked about in episode one, just some a lot of biased opinions mm. uh, about, and so that was definitely an awakening. Mm, yeah. and so you thought deeply about it before you decided on the name itself mm, yeah it was nice. almost like because i had heard the name before i had uh um, stuck with you right I, yeah it, yeah yeah it, it, yeah i had the same experience too mm. uh right before i had a kid and and when i entertained the idea of possibly having one mm. i already had like a name Uh, in mind okay. so the, the same with your experience uh, where you, you were in that place and you want to remember that place or commemorate that uh, place in sure. a way uh-huh. with your daughter's memories mm, right yeah so for me it was the same thing but more more on the idea mm. of of the kind of human that i want her to become mm. i could have named her uh, the same name i have or my grandparents honored them by naming 
after my grandchildren, they were great yeah, people. Sure, sure. <clears throat> nothing, right. nothing against them. I mean, they're, they're all praises to them, actually. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Of course. But it was more on my idea of what kind of a human being. It's a mixture of all, actually. Mm. So with, with the name, but I thought also about it. I mean, everybody does. Who doesn't, right? Right, right. <laughs> Even if you just name a generic name after yourself, <laughs> your parents, the third, whatever, you still thought about it. Nothing wrong with that. We all have our, <laughs> these are our experiences anyway. So, so yeah, with the place, for me, the idea. And when, when you did decide, was it something that you uh, and your partner discussed uh, who had first dibs? No, no, it was, it was just like, <laughs> Uh, I think as long as there's some kind of meaning to it, you know, just like maybe, I guess, it, you know, some people get named after cartoons, but maybe that <clears throat> that cartoon character was associated with a really fond memory. Mm. And that's why they gave you that name of a cartoon character. It wasn't really yeah. just because they wanted to be funny or, yeah. you know, there's so much that could be behind the name. Yeah. Um, and then uh, the, another... The, you know, here in the Philippines, it's common to have two parts of your first name. First name, exactly. So then there was that. We, we have long ass names. We have long ass Jesus. names. Man. Yeah, so, so you have to figure that one out too. Not just the first one. Now we got to do another one. Okay, what's the second one going to be? <laughs> so like every time you try to fill out a document here in the Philippines, it's like, gosh, it's a chore. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. So many names to write down. <laughs> Is it just the letter and a dot, or do you got to spell it out? Or? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's true. But yeah, a name does scary. So how do you go about the like mentality of picking a second name? Like a is second that, name. Is there is there a technique that people have here? Like you just combine the last thing you ate and the color of your shirt or something like that. You know, mm. like those stupid memes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a thing it's a thing that What's after, your fighter name? <laughs> <laughs> your screen name. Yeah. <laughs> your whatever. But yeah, thinking about it, it it's uh after deciding and and your wife and and you picking your names uh, the names for for the child uh you you both you both uh thought about it and then you get to call her the, the funny thing is after after going all through that process after everything you're gonna decide to give that child another name <laughs> call her different name. <laughs> at least two more Right, hey least, girl yeah. die 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 <laughs> i like that one yeah, we use that one die Hello, die. <laughs> and then there's the, the nickname <laughs> oh, man. imagine that after going all through that trouble yeah and you're just gonna get not even use it <laughs> like, yeah, i've been called different names <laughs> all throughout my life yeah Jesus Christ. it's funny uh we would come here on vacation you know like every uh like so many years would pass by we come back on vacation and i'm like Man, I still don't know if I, I don't think I know my cousin's real names. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. I just, up to now, I'm like in right. my 20s and like I don't know their names. Go, go. <laughs> like, <laughs> we just go by their nickname. Go, go, go. <laughs> uh, good, good times. So. Yeah, well, yeah. That's why, uh, if you're listening to this, when you think about uh, the names, it's very important because. They're gonna carry that. Actually, they're gonna remember that. Yeah. The the same way that I have remembered why I was named the the name that I carry now, even yeah. if I'm called differently mm. by my family and friends, I've got a third name, the nicknames. Yeah. But I do remember my name, and every time I remember my name, mm. I know exactly why my parents named me after my grandparents because they see them be fit to be carried their names to be carried by the next generation mm, and sure. I am honored I am honored to uh -huh. carry the name even though I am burdened in a way because of the so many great things that they did <laughs> but I remember it mm. and I named my daughter differently uh, or in a way because of I've, as I've said it's more of the idea that how I want her to conduct herself yeah, the second the second name. Did you and the wife have to discuss that one? Yeah, or was yeah, that a, we did. But I already had that name. I I told her whether it's a boy or a girl, it's gonna be the name that that I, I am going to give him or her, mm. which is Sagan. Okay. After the late great astronomer, boy or girl, Doctor huh? Carl Sagan. Yeah. Yeah. Which is rest uh, in I peace. Think, yeah, <laughs> rest in peace, Carl Sagan, the man. 
And I really admire I really admire Dr. Sagan. That's why that's why I, I gave her that name. So I, of course I let her pick the first name. So the wife was like, Yeah, that's that's fine. Yeah, yeah, she that's fine. No she likes it. Yeah, that's good. And uh I actually let her listen to Carl Sagan uh during the pregnancy. Even the mm. first pregnancy. So nice. she really likes put some headphones on the, yeah, on the stomach. Speeches. Or something. Yeah, uh, talks. Yeah. So, yeah, for me, it was more of the idea. So, yeah, whenever we're nice. thinking about names, it's nice. You can buy the books, dictionaries, uh, baby names, so many things yeah. you can think about. But I think, in my experience, it, the process becomes easier when you focus on how you want to raise your children. Mm. Uh, at least for me I'm not saying this is how you name your kids it's just uh-huh. my yeah. way of, of it was so easy for me I thought about that uh. instantaneously the moment yeah. I, I realized that uh, or, or I you knew I, your father I knew that that she was pregnant mm. I instantaneously uh, thought about it uh, how am I going to raise this child or I want him or her to be so it was more of the idea of the, the character mm. behind the name. It's all characters. These are people who live their lives with certain syllables and mm. and how we we communicate the, the the sound. And when we hear it, we hear ourselves. That's mm. weird. I know, like, okay, if I hear my name, I'd instantaneously get attracted to that sound, uh-huh. this, the, the, the pattern. Mm. So it's very <laughs> important. That's why... Even after, the, or even behind the the sound, the, the sound itself bears the meaning. When we think about it, mm. the meaning behind the, those sounds, so we can mm-hmm. put meanings behind it, and the name becomes something bigger than itself. Mm. It becomes the character. You become the character. I think that's that, that's how I see it. it could be whatever. <laughs> Stripping balls. <laughs> <laughs> so the the, the, the <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah yeah yeah. I'm so thinking the, deeply though. The, I, the I second have to admit. the second name was uh, <laughs> is kind of like a beacon. Yeah, as beacon. A, like mm. for your your daughter to to recognize yeah. and be able to identify like oh this is this is the story of this constellation or something yeah. like that like it's a guide like it could be something to always point north yeah exactly it's your northern star your name and you, every time you hear it, it it rarely even you speak your own name right mm. you have to be i think how 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 often do you do you speak your name to mm. yourself yeah it's like like really talk like come on uh, yeah don't be a bitch yeah. <laughs> stay hard <laughs> but every time stay you hear it, you still call yourself by your name sometimes sure. right yeah in your head yeah sure so there's that that's why it's important we've been discussing it for what it's like 20 minutes, 20 minutes. <laughs> but still yeah we're having a blast yeah. <laughs> it's just turf and balls <laughs> Under the moonlight with another. Under the moonlight. That's what happens edition. when you're under the moonlight yeah. with a bottle of beer. <laughs> you're tripping balls. <laughs> <laughs> tripping on life, man. <laughs> so many yeah, crazy things going names. on. That uh, transgender in the Olympics is pretty wild, huh? Oh, yeah. Um, at least it's it's causing up uh, quite the controversy. Oh, Jesus. In the Olympics? In the like, Olympics. really? Man. What happened? Oh, man. Like, really? What can you happened? can you imagine that UFC fight? You know, like uh, yeah, like back if if that was let's just say UFC just just started like in 2021 mm-hmm. and it was still underground and they were kicking each other in the balls mm. and they were like you know um, just doing whatever. Can you imagine that? that 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 would be ridiculous. Yeah, that fight would be should be like never. That should never happen. Yeah, or they, they just take away the division women's and men's division if that's how we're going to do it right i guess yeah right, okay no it, holds it, barred it, man no, okay yeah. women against men knuckle fight why have a woman or a man compete in the women's division yeah yeah in disguise of a gender 
because you decided to participate in this in this uh, gender act- activity and why are you allowed mm. to do so and you have an advantage that you can physically maul other mm. people i mean the muscular growth is just different right mm. can you imagine if there uh, there's going to be people now who are going to wait they're going to you know they're going to keep their their testicles until they reach a, a physical peak right and then and then maybe they get a surgery now they they have this physique and they have all this explosive power mm. and then they go and compete when they've de- they've been developing their body to be a fighting machine mm. and then they go they go and just take somebody's head off and just destroys their brain i mean that's going to be ridiculous right like nobody wants that to happen yeah But, no, i i don't see anything of value there no of, absolutely of, not of, uh allowing that you know to somebody's going to do it just to just to get a belt just to make some money yeah exactly somebody just is, to get famous even yeah so why not it's a possibility right if mm-hmm. if they start allowing this in all sports i mean yeah. this is a serious issue and here's the thing since we're in the business of of uh fatherhood we're not really saying how to be parents no. here this is just but uh, our opinions, i wouldn't man. allow yeah. my son If he ever decides, if if it turned out to be a son, let's say if I had a son, if he ever decides to participate in in a um, physical sport such as fighting, and decide to participate in the women's division, just because you f- he will feel like he's a woman, mm. as a parent, I would stop him. It's like really, would you, would you beat up another a girl? That's a yeah. girl. Yeah. Would you beat up a girl to win a trophy? <laughs> yeah. Or just because you feel like a girl? I mean, physically, uh, you're yeah. still, you still have the same strength as a man, right, as right. a boy. Think, think of this. If, if that's Con- my job to stop him, really. That's yeah. my, that's my. Can you imagine, take on um, like somebody like Conor McGregor gets uh, two division titles, decides to get a sex change, and goes and just destroys it? You know, he's like just to get the belt. You know, I changed my gender. Yeah. Now I'm in the champion in, in the women's <laughs> division. I, I take out the whole the whole lineup. You know, like wow, dude! Like, can't believe you just did that. But that would be a possibility, right? Yeah, and I don't think anybody would watch that. Who would want to see pay that? for that? That's you ridiculous. would stop it. Yeah. You would stop it, right? I mean, if you see a man beating a woman in the streets, would you? Would you? Just, I'm sure somebody would stop it. Hopefully, right? I yeah, mean, there, yeah. There would be some stranger Assuming who would try to stop lose it. Lose their own life. Yeah. But if it was a girl beating a man, we would laugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> she beat you with a fake dick, man. Like, she beat really? you with a fake dick. <laughs> you let it happen? You let that bitch slap you around? <laughs> <laughs> That's the reality, man. But it's yeah. funny. It's re- I would laugh too, I must admit. Yeah. If I ever see that shit, I was like, ha ha. <laughs> what, a, what a dick. Yeah. <laughs> you get slapped around by your wife, <laughs> your girlfriend. <laughs> uh, <laughs> But it happens. It happens. Yeah. We laugh. Yeah. But every time we see, going back to the topic, every time we see a woman be th- being being assaulted in the streets, we would try to stop it at least, right? Or somebody uh, would call the police at uh, least. It's like, hopefully. hey, yeah. yeah hopefully. It's the same thing with that, mm. right? Why would you? Why would yeah, you watch that? I don't that? see much of a difference. Yeah, there. Wh- <laughs> and and give a gold medal for it. Yeah, really, give a trophy. Yeah, come on. You'd have to. You'd have to have some serious regulations in exactly. that sport. Like some serious. And, and why? Why? And there's still a lot of room for corruption. But. Yep. Well, that's why. <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> we don't have the answers, but we can see yeah, the truth. Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, because reality is shit. That's why. <laughs> Has there been any updates on the, uh, the UFO sightings lately? A lot, Not, like a I lot. I haven't lot. been paying attention. Yeah, they, it's, What's been, it's just been going on? a lot. Really? Over the past few months, this is probably one of the, the memories I remember. Uh, um, the amount of of uh, attention that UFOs are getting. Oh, right now? Oh, yeah, or it's yeah. just off the charts compared to decades ago. That we <laughs> considered as a fringe report, or if you would, if 
UFOs are ever reported, yeah, it would be probably in some area in in some barrio in the United States yeah. where <laughs> where kind of rednecks would be yeah. involved or somehow yeah. being abducted by aliens. It has to be the rednecks. Yeah, Come on. Me. Really? Yeah. Why not Asians? Yeah. Why not black people? Why don't yeah. aliens take, <laughs> so <it's> the <laughs> take us? <laughs> we're we're not going to do their math. Yeah. <laughs> We're not going to take care of the old people. <laughs> they're not taking the Asians because they're afraid that they might figure it out. Yeah. Do the math. They're, they're going to start working over there. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Asians, man. No, no aliens are taking us. It has to be rednecks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But really, I, <laughs> it's been off the charts, man. Yeah. You know, talking about you, it, it's... it's it's kind of it's kind of strange, because I, I I was part of that that crowd when I was a kid. I remember I, I've been following UFOs as far as I can remember. My mother bought me this this yeah. series. We talked about it in the first season, uh, Mysteries of the Unknown, uh, and yeah. one of them was UFO Mysteries. Nice. Yeah. Oh yeah, they used to have all those collections, yeah, like and, a VHS collection, know, you know, know, like and a and set. It, and the book was great, and it, uh, it had all these mga mga. Uh, information about ufo phenomenon nice. and yeah, i remember one of one good. of it was the man in black before the oh, movie nice. came out i already knew about the man in black because of that book uh, it's like these, these a book battery first. operated people in 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 suits in black that come to your house when uh, you have contact with aliens and they would erase your memory uh, maybe yeah, yeah okay it's the same thing but they were pale faced oh, based really? on the book that that that, that uh, my it, mother had it wasn't will smith yeah it wasn't will smith <laughs> <laughs> they, they were the pop version of the man in black but the real man in black and not Some really real shit. but at least the the ones reported were pale faced and Jesus. creepy yeah. as fuck. So <laughs> not very user friendly. Yeah, not really or user some friendly. Emojis and shit. But they would knock on your door like the Electrolux <laughs> guy and sell you some stuff you don't want. Cable guy. <laughs> bring a Bible for the man in black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're here to bring Jesus to your house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Imagine oh, that. oh my god. <laughs> The man in black was just bringing the Bible to your house. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Erase your memory. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Forgive me. Fucking <laughs> 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 you apples. Aliens just trying to take you to rape you. <laughs> That's mostly yeah. the story, right? You heard. <laughs> I guess there's some awesome rednecks out there. Dude, the funny thing is that <laughs> every time I... <laughs> you have a report. There's always some sexual thing going on. <laughs> some probing. Imagine some highly advanced civilization going <laughs> all the way just to assault people. Just to stick it in our butt. <laughs> How fucking crazy is that? Uh, going <laughs> traveling interstellar space <laughs> just so you can fuck a human. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of a civilization is that? I, I'd some, be afraid. That's some fucked up. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be afraid. Really, what the fuck are you guys doing? <laughs> it's fucking insane. <laughs> trying to build. A, we're trying to figure out how to build rockets yeah. over here. You guys if trying to like probe us in the butt? That are coming over. That <laughs> I would. I wouldn't want them to be here. Man. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> I, I would imagine aliens as the benevolent ones, at least. I mean, if I had to think about it seriously, uh, if there were really extraterrestrial intelligence that are visiting us right now, mm. it would have to be it would have to be something better than what we try to come up with, especially with our fictions, right? Some movies, mm. The Little Green Man, uh, yeah, sometimes yeah. invasive Test, species, man. yeah, sometimes benevolent, E.T. Who else? Cocoon, the yeah. ones that you remember. Yeah, yeah. Arrival was one of my favorite um, mm. sci-fi films that involves aliens. It has something to do with the communication, and that was like the heart of the movie. Mm. Yeah, but those are the kinds of aliens that I like, at least imagining. <clears throat> not Thanos. Yeah, not Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> but it's uh, it's they're a- not gonna try to fuck you at least. <laughs> 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 oh, Jesus Christ. The the I gotta say the 
thinking about movies and and uh, or uh, UFOs and movies and fatherhood. It's a uh, movies make a make a interesting way to explain aliens. Mm. Like even even though we don't technically know what they yeah. are, it's like uh, it's like. I told my, I told the daughters like uh, Thanos might be coming. Yeah, she kind of believe she it. Kinda right? had, no, she kind of well, she, she didn't freak uh, out. You know, yeah, it was like, like but, right. she, but I think she kind of understands like there's something maybe out there. There's something else. <laughs> yeah. So I wasn't trying to be dramatic. Like someone's gonna come here and blow yeah. up the earth or something. But you know, it's like maybe maybe who knows? Yeah, that's good. At least you're you're slowly trying to. Um, let her understand that it's a possibility and not not traumatize yeah her. not traumatize like, it might be aliens yeah. in that like, space yeah, who knows and, you know, right yeah because it that surely it surely is a reality that that can be m- mind shattering in my opinion mm, if sure. if you really consider the fact that we are not alone in the universe like mm. really consider it I mean mm. think about it the if possibilities you're li- yeah, if you're listening to this Think about the possibility and all your life you've been conditioned to think that you are special, so special. I'm just saying, you've been conditioned all your life to think that you're special. Mm. And then suddenly, you're confronted with the possibility (laughs) that you are nothing. Mm. If ever we can prove that there is life elsewhere, that's a game changer. Mm-hmm. Because in our mindset, we are special in the universe. Mm. We used to think we are the center of, of the, the solar system. The solar system. Yeah. Even in the solar yeah, system. Just that level. Mm. And it gets shattered, right? Yeah, totally. And Galileo looked at the telescope and looked at Jupiter. And when he saw that <laughs> it was changing and the moons... We're, 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 we're changing the patterns every day when he observed and he the moons around Jupiter yeah and they insisted that he was lying or they had to really at least try to restrain him he just insisted e por si movie that was in, in how he said it and yet it moves no matter what you say mm. it moves the heaven moves mm. and we are just part of the heavens and we we, we are nothing special and it shattered the reality. And now, when you're confronted with that fact, let's say when they do arrive and they suddenly appear, I'm not saying they will, mm-hmm. how will you deal with it mm-hmm. personally? Yeah. So, how will you process that information that you are not special? There is something more powerful than we are. Mm-hmm. Some of us describe it as God. It could be. Mm-hmm. Could but be. let's say it's just another step of the a being a civilization just just one step ahead of us. Mm. We are type zero civilization, I believe, in the Kardashian scale. Let's say a type one civilization appears mm-hmm. before us. That's just one step ahead of mm. the the scale. The dinosaurs. <laughs> dinosaurs with lasers. <laughs> yeah, dinosaurs with <laughs> so lasers. Yeah. And then, and then you're confronted with that. How will you deal with it? All your life, you've been thinking you're special, mm. and then you suddenly realize that they're here. Yeah, <laughs> I'm nothing. They have far better technology, uh-huh. far better weapons. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I guess I, ideally you do be able to work with that mm. kind of civilization or it's a kind of um, ideally. Ideally, yeah, it wouldn't. We, we can't even work our own problems <laughs> yeah. out on this planet. Right, right. Like really? Yeah. It might. How optimistic can we get? Right. Yeah. <laughs> there, there's some evolving that probably needs to happen mm. f- for us to comprehend what the possibilities are. And for parents out there, when discussing about since the UFOs are on the news now, sure, your children are going to hear it. They're going to mm. ask questions. For oh sure. yeah, I showed it to my daughter. I mm. uh, showed it to the daughter. Yeah. So and, how do you? We how do it. you communicate that? Mm. I I compare it to. Santa Claus. Uh-huh. Is Santa real? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> not <laughs> we, in our house. You've had that. <laughs> not, <laughs> not in our house. No stranger is coming down to my chimney no, and putting gifts yeah. for my sons eating, and daughters. Eating my cookies. <laughs> like, <laughs> my dude, cookies. no way. Luring my son <laughs> and daughter. 
an old yeah. man yeah. with What's a it? white beard. <laughs> <laughs> While landing on my rooftop. Sell the Asians. <laughs> I'm, te- I'm going down to your chimney. Take your children. Yeah. <laughs> Santa Claus is creepy, but there's a whole yeah, history totally. of Santa that makes way more sense. And that's for another episode. Yeah, yeah. But there's a whole. Sure. So you can look it up. There's a whole story about Santa Claus. I'll just say that your kid will still enjoy Christmas. Yes, you will still enjoy yeah, Christmas. It's not a bit that big of a deal. When you know about probably the history of Santa Claus. I'm not saying it's how we came up with Santa Claus, but it's something to do with mushrooms. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, going back to the topic, where were we? <laughs> I'll link that up. <laughs> <laughs> where were we? Uh... Jesus Christ, bro. <laughs> what happened? UFOs. UFOs. There you go. <laughs> it's like Santa Claus. So how do how did you uh, communicate that with your daughter? Mm, I just, uh, the approach was just to tell that it's a story. Like, it's a real story. It's re- I'm not saying that, um, you know, this story of Santa doesn't exist, but like he doesn't um so it's it's not that big of a deal. It's like she can still enjoy the books and she can still read the stories and watch the Christmas songs and it's just not a big deal. It's uh it's mm-hmm. she still participates in all the school Christmas activities. It's not like she looks at it in some in some different way and she's like depressed about Christmas now that she doesn't now that she doesn't uh, have to believe in this uh, Santa Claus mm-hmm. as being some like person that actually comes to your house. <laughs> <laughs> Gets, gets his ass choked out in my house. <laughs> if ever Santa Claus goes to your Break house, that fool's and neck, man. Leaves a vibrator <laughs> under your Christmas tree. You're yeah, in trouble. A, yeah. Hey, bring me a bong, Santa. <laughs> you fucking dick. I need my zigzags and my drag rags. <laughs> anyway, yeah, but that's true. Uh, uh, yeah, that, at least you're, you're communicating that. It's a story, but it's a good story. Yeah. That's why we tell it, right? Mm. It doesn't have to be like community communicating it mm. like it's the actual fact that there's some guy on a sled in the sky with <laughs> some red nosed reindeer just yeah. and flying around. I, I've explained to her and not not like extensively, but uh she understands that some people well, I don't know how much she understands, but I mean I've mentioned that uh, not everyone believes the same thing. Yeah. Like some people are going to believe something yeah, that well, you're not, not? going to believe in, mm. and that's fine. Like mm. that's there's nothing wrong with. Uh, yeah, you know. e- even if this is a stimulation, there is still loss <laughs> to the stimulation, right? That we have to obey, which is called the loss of physics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're one. We're one Earthling. That's yeah, we're just. That's in, true. That's but that's it. a good way. I think I like that idea of uh since I, i'm still going through that i still have to go through that process my daughter still can't talk so mm, i'm when still that, going uh, yeah it. when that time comes when she asks me about santa claus i'd probably have the same answer and and just tell her about the story that it's yeah. a story it's me maybe you know i mean i can tell her i'm putting the gifts but we have a story of this old dude that's <laughs> just yeah. chilling out in a yeah. sled <laughs> <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Merry yeah. Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> the ball, yeah. man. <laughs> on the ball. He wants to he wants to rip one on his sleigh. Yeah. <laughs> Take a bone rip dude, in my sleigh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Santa is a cool dude. That's why yeah. we still talk about him. We still Bring me some mushrooms. Yeah, man. Yeah, but he wasn't mushrooms. Yes. <laughs> That's the story. Bring him on over, Santa. <laughs> But yeah, it's the same thing with aliens going back. So, when did she ever ask you whether we're alone or not in the universe? Uh, I don't think. Do you have that that, that kind of conversation? Um, with her? I think she's asked me before about uh, life on Mars because she has a book Ooh, about Mars. Mars. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't think she's ever been like. Uh, so she still like, she still hasn't maybe processed the idea that this. Yeah. I'm sure she knows this is a planet at their age compared uh, to yeah. us. Yeah, I think at, at six years old, yeah. kids kind of understand uh, the concept of a solar system, yeah. Because in my experience, it took me a long <laughs> time <laughs> to yeah. realize uh-huh. that I live on a speck of dust 
in the galaxy, not even in the galaxy, even on this planet. Mm. It took me a long time, but processing that is difficult. Maybe not on that. that yeah, uh, level. but at least the idea, right? That mm. there's something we live, else. We live in a rock mm-hmm. that's basically rotating on a, what we call a sun. That's mm-hmm. basically a star. Mm-hmm. So. It's, is that how you also communicate it to her the, 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 the reality of our existence uh, within the solar system uh, I haven't gotten to the point to explain like we're a speck of dust and like look at these spiral spiraling galaxies like we're just like a tiny dot there because I don't know if, yeah. how how effective that is at, at six years old uh, I think it is it probably is yeah. I, I just probably haven't because uh, they're, they're full of curiosity that they would ask i think the simplest as i've as i've observed uh, with my nephews and nieces that Mm. they ask the simplest but most interesting question that is so basic that when you think about it it's so easy to answer but we have no answers Mm. i I don't know if you, you know what i mean but because it's still unknown. Yeah, There's yeah. Like, so much uh, that's why is anyway. the sky blue? I mean, yeah. for sure, we know what this. Why the sky is blue? I certainly don't know because <laughs> <laughs> I'm not too, too, too smart to know that. I know the concept, uh, a part of it at least. Uh-huh. But when they ask it, it's so beautiful when they when they just question mm. a color mm-hmm. in the horizon and the sky, and then in a way you can answer it based on the position of our our, our planet and with in relation to the, our star mm. and how how the atmosphere affects the wavelengths of light uh, and how okay. we perceive colors right mm. so it's so beautiful when when if we can explain even if we don't know the answer i certainly don't know the answers if if i would be asked by somebody i could tell you that i we live on a planet called planet earth we have some neighbors here <laughs> Other neighboring planets that's, yeah. that was probably similar to us a long time ago, billions of years ago, like Venus and Mars. And we have this giant gas planet called Jupiter that's here that's protecting us from comets and asteroids that have been sucking it all like a vacuum cleaner while mm. we're here. It's kind of like a big brother, you know, uh, if you yeah. explain that uh, in a way, in how we explain the, our position. And then on top of that, our sun or our star, our local star, is just a speck of dust that's on an island mm. that that is part of billions of other islands, yeah. probably just like it, mm-hmm. probably different than it. It's called a spiral galaxy. Uh-huh. It could be called an ellip- uh, elliptical galaxy, planetary, whatever. I forgot the, all the, some of the names. But it has so many var- various names. Mm-hmm. But we're on it. Yeah. And you're here. And you can think about it and you can experience it. And when I think about aliens, since we're on, on that uh, subject, we are, we are also aliens on Mars right now. Mm-hmm. Sure. We have robots that are traveling and exploring that planet Mm -hmm. taking pictures for our very own eyes to see that we can witness what it's like on mars right now Mm -hmm. those are an extension of our consciousness of our eyes Mm -hmm. those are the product even if we did not build it a part a part of of our humanity built it collectively Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the smartest people did it we are benefiting from it Mm -hmm. i can see it and we're planning to travel there. Hopefully, we can. Yeah, we're contributing yeah. to it. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. in a way, that that for me is a v- uh, to, to let's say inspire my children to on, on why we we do this thing. We're, we're existing in the first place, exploring, most especially since a part of our platform is exploring this world, not just the world of fatherhood mm. we're exploring this world it's science exploring it's the science. possibilities yeah. of what is what is when we have questions that's where our, the philosophy comes in mm-hmm. we have so many questions and then what happens <laughs> when we realize that we're not alone yeah is it the end of religion i don't know is it the end of god <laughs> probably not i don't know probably not maybe probably. another sort of some kind of religion will prop up and and, uh, and be more popular than the the majority 
I don't know. But the thing is, whatever happens, if ever we find out that we are not alone, this this existence itself, for me, I can never be alone because yeah. I'm talking to somebody, even if it's a part of me, I'm talking to somebody right now. I'm experiencing life with with other people. I can share experiences, love, hate, but more love. I hope. But when I when I'm sharing it, I'm not alone. Even if even if we we prove the fact that that we are not, or we are truly alone in the universe. Even if there are no aliens, it would be okay, because we shared something here. In your mind, mm. doesn't have to be for me. Doesn't have to be. Uh, I have to share it with another intelligent species. Mm. I still have to share it with, with whoever is here on this planet, which is the the, the only ones who can understand it for now, or fellow human beings. Mm. And and how do we communicate that before we we even dream about communicate communicating with other intelligent beings, type one, type two, type three civilizations, whatever. We have to learn how to communicate with ourselves, with other people, with whoever. Or yeah, whatever's out yeah, there. Yeah, whatever's out there with other animals. We have to try. That's why we have scientists right now trying to talk to whales, trying to <laughs> yeah, talk yeah. to dolphins, trying to find out how they're feeling. Trying yeah. to find out yeah. <laughs> Did I you mean, hear about I, that uh, that theory that those those UFO sightings are always out in the ocean because yeah. they might be talking to the yeah. whales? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, you don't know. But that's it. Man, you, you gotta know. talk to yourself. Yeah. I think we can't communicate yeah. with them very well. <laughs> it's important to talk to yourself. I find it very, at least for me, ah, huh, my own experience. I find mm. it very comforting. I would question myself. I would question, would talk to myself all the time. People would would call me out on it. Really, I'm oh, spacing mean, like, out. Talk to yourself out loud. Or? No, no, in my in my, re- reflecting oh, okay. deep yeah. in You're myself. Just, like, lost. And I mm. get I get. Not really criticized, but people do call me. It's funny too because I know oh, I'm not really? paying attention to this reality most uh, of yeah. the time. <laughs> my my sisters, my even my wife would tell yeah. me, "You're spacing out it's again." Crazy, yeah. Jesus Christ, man! Yeah. You're not paying attention. You can't even <laughs> remember things clearly. But if I have to be honest about it, man, I space out because I I think about <laughs> I think about it maybe too much. <laughs> maybe too much yeah i have i have to give it to them maybe too much oh, i have yeah, to pay yeah. attention to this okay. reality more i have to pay attention to other people's kind of perception of me yeah. you got to pay attention to the simulation yeah, dude. The simu- oh, <laughs> i'm not on. saying it's a simulation yeah. that's but, but still yeah <laughs> it's true you have to pay attention yeah you're trying to unplug yeah, real quick yeah it's hard man. it's hard <laughs> uh. <laughs> that's why sometimes i think life is really not for thinking it's just for for experiencing <laughs> that's why maybe plato came up with that allegory of the cave thing yeah. have you heard of that shit <laughs> where they show this kind of illusion of the fire yeah. behind the yeah. cave and all your life imagine all your life this is plato's allegory of the cave all your life you've, you've been stuck in that cave and all you see are the shadows mm. and you were led to believe that that's reality and then suddenly you're thrust out of the cave and you realize that the reality inside the cave is not the reality mm. of the outside world so imagine having that 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 sudden realization it's the same with aliens i think going mm-hmm. back to the subject mm-hmm. because aliens are a thing i think a symbol for us when it happens if it happens <clears throat> they're proven true it would be an existential threat to our psyche most of us i think yeah, it fucks a, up with your your ego. Yeah, we have some kind of a need, right? Like as a as a species to know um, what the what the possibilities are. It's like we just can't stop thinking about it as oh, as a collective community, mm. right? Like we're trying to figure it out. <laughs> we True. have we have some kind of unease. I don't know if I want to call it unease, but just some kind of uh, like that curiosity always comes back. You know, like what is. And yeah. I guess that's just baked in our DNA to try to figure it out. I don't know what what some species are perfectly content, right? Like not just ex- just existing yeah, yeah, in, the, true. in the ecosystem. And who knows? Would they know that they exist at all? 
Maybe do dogs do. know? Maybe do our do. dogs know that they're conscious? Yeah. That there's some kind of a fucking simulation or whatever? <laughs> I don't know. Even we don't know. Yeah. That's why I've always been fascinated with this quote. I think we talked about it um, off the record at least last Thursday by Arthur C. Clarke. Mm, what was that? In relation to the possibility of of aliens, mm. either two possibilities exist: that we are alone in the universe or not, and mm. both are equally terrifying. Mm. He's spot on, man. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. It, it, again, imagine realizing, well said. Uh, as we've said, realizing that we're not alone. That would be terrifying. They yeah. could be malevolent. Mm-hmm. They mm-hmm. could just come here, harvest our organs or whatever, fuck us. <laughs> <laughs> just come here to fuck the rednecks. Harvest anything harvest they want. Harvest anything, anything they want. <laughs> Suck your dick. <laughs> our spinal fluid or something. <laughs> Suck your <dick. laughs> <laughs> crossing our light sperms. ears just try to screw us Jesus doing Christ a, so yeah, doing anyway. experiments on us yeah, yeah. it's terrifying and yeah. at the same time could be, yeah. imagine realizing that could be even way. with the vastness of space and time even with the realization that the universe spans billions and billions and billions and billions I'm paraphrasing Carl Sagan of light years in size in scope and realizing that you're alone, that there's nothing out there for yeah. us. And then it's just going to die off yeah. with us dying without anybody knowing it. No more consciousness, nothing. That's terrifying. Well, maybe there there is. Like, maybe it just didn't reach to that level that we had hoped for. Uh, maybe maybe dinosaurs exist somewhere else, right? That would be pretty crazy yeah. to, to see that. Like... Tyrannosaurus Rex is running mm. around tearing it up. And we can, I think, with virtual reality. Yeah, sure, sure, yeah. Experience yeah. it in a way, according to our programming, I don't know how accurate it would be, mm. but that's one way. We have pictures of dinosaurs now based on illustrations with reconstructions based from the fossils that they have, right? Mm. So we can at least appreciate how they could have looked like. Some of them had feathers, mm. some of them, they're, they're big and small or whatever, but yeah. we have at least an idea of where we come from before we became this. Mm -hmm. Some dinosaurs roamed the earth and ruled it for millions of years and some just comet and asteroid fucked it all up for them (laughs) and we're here now. So I think how, how you communicate that with children, it takes, it takes a lot of finesse. Mm. To let them appreciate the science behind it and at the same time not be afraid of the facts. That's why I think this is where we're at right now. We're we're too overprotective of the next generation that we're pandering them. Mm. This is just me. I'm not speaking for everyone. But we're overprotective of our our children or the next generation that we're afraid to tell them the truth. Mm, about what about the reality of everything yeah that we would rather possibilities of we would rather tell a fabricated story mm. to make them feel better is that normally what happens it could be i don't know yeah. I don't because know. i don't know what i don't know normally what people yeah. tell their kids yeah what what real is i mean yeah i mean obviously the, the religious <laughs> right? people tell them a, yeah yeah a specific and story. maybe they could be right so i don't know that yeah but sometimes we just Tell them stories just to make them feel better. Mm. <laughs> right? I mean, don't we? <laughs> so with aliens, how do we tell the story? Mm. That's the question. That's what we've been talking about. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, hopefully this alien thing, they just come here, observe, leave, maybe give us some moolah or something. <laughs> <laughs> Interfere. Not let us kill kill ourselves. You know the the UFO uh, the UFO sightings uh, lately. I was like thinking to myself, this is ridiculous timing for the Marvel Eternals to come out. Uh, like, yeah, <laughs> like yeah, yeah. what if these guys? You know, because in the trailer of the Eternals, uh, there's a a ship that comes to Earth, and it's like a you know you know some odd shape. It looks like like a triangular yeah, shape yeah. or something like that. <laughs> I was like, that's got to be some crazy marketing if like they ever. We're faking UFO sightings so they can promote their movie or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, the Eternals are coming, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same way they accused the uh, 
moon landings of being fake before by yeah. by having Stanley Kubrick fake uh, 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 the the moon landings by <laughs> filming it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I think that's where the the movies really help those to when you when you kind of have to co- explain something conceptually and of course they can they can learn the technical things about the the galaxy spiraling yeah. around and all that stuff but it's just the the cinematic entertainment of of these alien characters gives the possibility some reality when they get to put a face yeah. to some character that was from out of this world yeah and it always has a uh, anthropomorphic features uh, yeah all our aliens oh, yeah. that we imagine has some sort of anthropomorphic traits some sort of hands yeah face they got mouth. two legs yeah, two Most legs of them. <laughs> i love the aliens where it's depicted as something just so remotely real that you can't comprehend it i think more of the Lovecraftian idea of of the cosmic horror or the cosmic unknown. He he always describes it as something that a human can never comprehend. That if ever you try to <laughs> peek at it, you would go crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's why I love the Lovecraftian yeah. uh, concept of the the cosmic being that's so great that even looking at it will will tragically make you go insane <laughs> <laughs> and that's how let's say grand or mysterious the universe can be i love lovecraft man <laughs> that guy has some insane imagination jesus christ yeah. I, I love his work i i still play his game video games board games based on his works oh, until yeah. now because i love the, the the concept of the whole cosmic horror thing cosmic the, the whole, horror. yeah it's called cosmic horror i think he was the one who really pushed that type of, of um, literary nga, nga idea <laughs> it, it was a long time ago but when you think about it he already imagined a universe that's so vast that one can't really comprehend it so facing that is another thing in itself that all of us that are living right now has to face yeah there's so many day. there's so many things we can't comprehend yeah, including fatherhood and that's for, a, fatherhood yeah <laughs> that's another <laughs> piece in itself amen to that yeah so for all the fathers out there when you're thinking about aliens <laughs> think about mars yeah we are sending rovers there we are the aliens we are the aliens but who knows if you've ever heard of panspermia or directed panspermia it could have been that we are the Martians. Yeah, we're, go- we're going back <laughs> that's home. That's another hypothesis. We're going home, man. Yeah, we're going home. <laughs> but that's the thing, you know. You'll never know. That's why we're exploring. Encourage your kids <laughs> to look up to outer space yeah. and explore. What we're going to find out is this is actually Krypton. Yeah. And we harvested the shit out of Mars yeah. until it just died. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and going back to space, that's why I named my daughter after Carl Sagan. Yeah. Always look up. Yeah. Listen to Carl Sagan. Because <laughs> I hope she will explore one day, if you're listening to this, my dear. <laughs> Every time you look up the sky, think of it as a reflection of yourself. So always look up and see what happens. Explore. Every time you look up, what's out there, it's dark. The closer you get your knowledge, everything that you seek, it will get brighter and brighter. So go for it. <laughs> no, I hope so. That's yeah. my that's my at least aspirations for her. Sure. Um, could be that she would just uh, have another. If she wants another career, I don't care. That's her. That's her decision. But I would hope for her to at least whatever her profession will be. If she never chooses to become a forget person. to look up at the sky. Yeah. Always. Mm. <laughs> so yeah. And that's the the second name. Yeah. So thanks for joining us, man. Um, we'll be back. Yeah. That was a good episode. Yeah. It's, yeah. Been, an, it's been an hour. It's been yeah. an hour. Jesus. That's the that's the long form. Yeah. Though. Again, whatever the cosmos um, present to you. It's Daddy uh, on, soldiers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we'll be back. So thanks for joining us. See you all soon.
we have no music today. Yeah. <laughs>